Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. All right, already thinking about the weekend, and right now the driest part of the weekend would be Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, Sunday morning. Still have showers in the forecast for early Saturday morning, and then showers returning uh, Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. So a lot of changes next several days. For now, we'll stay relatively quiet. Uh, downtown Providence and Newport, in fact, all of southern New England, clear, cool, and calm. Temperatures have been dropping through the upper 30s to low 40s. The wind has eased a bit in Newport right now. Cumberland coming in at 36. So some locations will be getting down to the freezing mark late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Warwick, you were 42 to just a few hours ago, now it's down to 39. So many areas getting down into the 30s. Talk about the clash of seasons. Look at this tremendous temperature gradient or temperature contrast across the Plain States. Tulsa at 80 and uh, Lincoln, Nebraska at 43 degrees. So anytime you have this uh, boundary between warm and cold, it represents energy in the atmosphere where storms form. In other words, storms love to form along these boundaries between warm and cold. And take a look. You see it right there taking shape. Massive storm system across the central plains. On one side, it's an all-out snowstorm. On the other side, heavy showers and some thunderstorms. There's the area of low pressure. This will intensify tracking north and east. We'll be making national news. Blizzard warnings have been issued for the Plain States. What does it mean for us for tomorrow? Well, nothing. This storm will stay away. We'll be dry, sunny, and cool for Thursday. But eventually, some of this moisture will head our way, but not until Friday night. Storm intensifies noontime tomorrow. Blizzard conditions on the backside of it. It'll continue to track through the northern plains and the Great Lakes. This is the cold front with some showers along it. We'll watch that uh, for Friday evening, Friday night as it approaches southern New England. Nothing severe, but we'll get some showers from that. So right now, the uh, the daylight hours of Friday still looks dry. Look at the snowfall totals on the uh, backside of this storm system. Anywhere from one to two feet of snow. We're a lot better tomorrow. Uh, bright skies, cool and dry. Temperatures overnight tonight dropping down through the uh, lower to middle 30s. So we start off kind of chilly at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. But temperatures do recover with mainly sunny skies. We should top out between 50 and 55. It's nicer tomorrow afternoon because there's less wind than what we had today, so it feels more comfortable. Tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, partly cloudy skies and dry. At 11 o'clock, the temperature's up upper 30s to around 40. So chilly start at sunrise initially in the 30s, and then tomorrow afternoon, sunshine pleasant. We'll call it seasonably cool with lighter winds and highs between 50 and 55. Showers Friday night, Friday day looks dry. Slow start Saturday morning. Some showers early, but give it time. Some warm Warmer sunshine by the afternoon, mid and upper 60s. That's pretty warm, but keep in mind the coastline on Saturday should be cooler with a sea breeze. Half and half Sunday, dry Sunday morning. We'll bring in some showers Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, and unfortunately that wet weather spills over into Marathon Monday, the Boston Marathon, with rain likely and a high temperature near 60. Nice day tomorrow, less wind, still cool, but feels better than today. It was colder last year for the marathon with the rain, though, right? It was. Because they've made but, some adjustments this year after. Well, much colder last year. Yeah, but warmer this year, but with rain. You can't yeah. win. All right, Tony, thanks. <laughs> Coming up next.